up guys welcome to my channel my name is Mauricio and this is my 2018 Mustang GT right now the car is a bit dirty so I'm about to cut to a quick time lapse of me washing the car perfect Back guys, so right now we're on our way to go shoot the walkthrough of the car. Um, I just want to do um, a quick talk about like what made me want to start this channel. Um, I've just been really inspired by other um, YouTubers that I've sat down, watch and follow, um, and I feel like it's just like a really good hobby to do because I mean, I'm, I'm like really into cars and. Apart from that, you also get to document the whole building process of the vehicle. And, um, like one of like what I used to drive was a 2014 Lexus IS250 Escort. Um, it was white. Um, it was really nice. Um, it was really it was, it was a really nice car overall. Um, but I, every ever since I've always wanted to have to have like a really fast car, and um, I feel like that's one of the main things it was lacking. Because, I mean, it was a really luxurious car. The interior was pretty nice. It was all blacked out leather. Um, it was way, it was a way better interior than the current interior that I have on this Mustang. And I, I traded it in back in May of this year um, for this race red 2018 Ford Mustang. It's a GT as well, and it's a six-speed manual. And, I mean, I've... If, First, I was having initial regrets of doing it, but once I started to mod out the car, like those initial regrets were gone. Cause I feel like a car that looks stock, it doesn't really look that that I catchy. All right, guys. So right now we're about to do a quick pull. that you have to install as well in the interior is a carbon fiber styling overlay piece for right here um, yeah, I mean it's not a true carbon fiber but I mean it would look better than compared to the chrome that the car does have um, eventually I feel like I want to get rid of all the chrome accents within the car um, like these maybe one day when I do have time 
um, I'll dis disassemble all this um, area right here and I'll see about taking off the little knobs and like spraying them black because I mean I, I really don't like chrome uh, like I can't stress that enough like I hate chrome and also like another mod that I do have for the car is the blacked out 5.0 badges for the vehicle um, I also have the blacked out GT badge um, so that, I mean, that would get rid of the chrome outside. Um, like again, with the RTR grill, um, it will, it doesn't have a, like any type of badge up front. So, I mean, that's why I didn't bother buying the blacked out pruning for the front grill. I mean, it's going to be a full replacement for that piece. Um, what else? I also have some hood struts that I need to install for the hood. So that way, when you open up the hood, that way, that way you don't have to put that metal piece to hold it in place. Um, I also have a strut tower brace for the for the car um, that does strengthen up the chassis of the car. And it just allows you to hit corners a lot better. Um, I mean, I've been having these parts for like almost a month, but I've been holding back because I know, it, I mean, having those parts, I can push out content and just um, be more consistent in my upload schedule. Um, I feel like one of the main things that pushed me to get this Mustang was that my brother, he has a, he has a blacked out 2017 Mustang GT. This is also a manual and like he's done a lot of stuff to it. And I mean, I, me I remember it was back in May, he went to a car meet and I, I had gone with him and, and another friend. And I mean, just by the, all the pulls he was doing and stuff, like it convinced me to get my own Mustang. And and just, I mean, just it just looks it's like nice and everything. So, I mean, I, you can really say he really pushed me to get a this car. Like he didn't physically um, like make me get the car, but like it just made me want the car even more. And I mean. The Lexus was an automatic. All right, guys. So we're just gonna do a quick walkthrough of the car. So this is again, this is my 2018 Ford Mustang GT, and it is a six-speed manual. Um, uh, one thing I really do like about the car are the headlights compared to the 2017, because from 2017 to 2018, the style of the Mustang did change. Um, one thing I really don't like about the car are the wheels. I mean, they're all right to start off, but eventually I do want to upgrade to a better set of wheels. Um, current mods I've done to the car are 20% window tint. Uh, right now the windows are down. Um, another mod that I have done to the car is the GT500 um, carbon fiber spoiler from Anderson Composites. I mean, this thing is really nice. But one thing it wasn't, it was not cheap. Now, another thing that I've done is the Ford Performance carbon fiber shift knob. The car does have LEDs in the interior as well. I think if I push the button, it will turn on. Let's see. Yeah, it does have the white LEDs. Um, when I first got the car, I really didn't like the look of the regular yellow bulbs. So that was a pretty good upgrade. Um, another thing I did that did come with the car were weather tick floor mats. So that was a really good thing considering that these floor mats do cost anywhere. I think it's from 150 to 200. So that was good. Um, let me see. So as I was speaking earlier too, um, it is gonna get a blacked out GT badge. Also, it's gonna get the blacked out 5.0 badges. Um, another thing, I already have the paint for it. I plan on painting the Brimble cal calipers yellow. Um, it is gonna have a black decal on it as well. So I feel like that, the yellow would pop a lot with the red. Um, another thing I do have, I already have it in, is the RTR grill. So it is gonna be a different style of grill. And it is going to have the LED lights in this portion right here. So I feel like that would make the car look really mean. Um, it does 
I do have the four performance hood struts that I need to install, which is gonna hold the hood in place when I do lift it up. It is gonna have a Mustang strut tower brace for when I'm hitting corners. Also, it is gonna get the smoke diode dynamics LED strips, so that would look nice. All right, guys, so I think that's gonna be a wrap for today's video, so don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember always, if you ain't stinging, you ain't banging.